I sing this body ad libitum, Europe's great roar between my teeth until presto, Ave Maria floats to the surface from a Tituba tributary of Swanee, until I'm a legato, darkling whole note, my voice shimmering up from the Atlantic's hold, until I'm a coda of sail song whipped in a sailed wind, until my chorus swells like a lynch tongue, until the nocturnes boiling beneath the roof of my mouth extinguish each burning cross. I sing this life in testimony to Tempo Rubato, time stolen body by body by body by body from one passage to another. I sing tremolo to the opus of loss. I sing this song staccato and stretto, a fugue of blackface and blued up arias. I sing with one hand smoldering in the steely cannon, the other lento slow, languorous, lingered in the fields of Babylon's falling. Poem number two. The purity of time lies in the arch of her back that we fuck, eclipse of light. By her buttocks causes desire to reach for its rondure. It is here where the light gropes with the real as a breast comes my way to be suckled and licked. Pure thought is a scheme designed to allay the madding skin sway with another. Even if this is the theme of the thought, a god's eye in infinite blow wonders, not memory but speculation, if such could move worlds, and if so, which her could drive them mortal to mortal want? As we grind our grinds, this thought lingers on, creating an angst picked up by a swan. D. Mills asks, why am I against uh, awards in art and poetry? Well, I just read two poems. The first poem was a poem read by Tahimbe Jess, a guy who just won the 2017 Pulitzer Prize called Ciceretta Jones. It's about a real-life black opera singer. And it's, you know, really a piece of crap. It's a prose poem. Try He's trying to sound Whitman-esque. He's using a lot of the words that opera uses. But he goes in with the most predictable images, the most predictable narratives, and there's nothing new there. Blackface, blued up arias, everything's blues and jazz and this and that, and he, there's nothing in that poem that shows that this guy has any sense of, of skill and no sense of himself. The second poem read was read uh, by me, Holy Sonnet 24, my Holy Sonnets, and it's about sex and violence, which also is, occurs in the Ciceretta Jones poem. But it's so unique, and it actually has poetic phrases, and there's no cliches, there's no uh, verbalized cliches, there's no cliches of subject matter. And this was brought to, to my attention, uh, well, this came to a head uh, in a, a series of emails on my e-list, and Peter Cleese had uh, compared these two poems in one of his email replies. And it's a good comparison because it shows what a great poet like myself can do versus a hack poet like this guy who won the Pulitzer. Yet you know that in 50 or 100 years, this person who would be uh, granted, oh, that this must be a quality poet, is going to be laughed at because there's nothing there. There is, it's a totally generic poem. It's a prose poem. There's not even any attempt at using poetic parameters within the poem versus my holy sonnet, which is a, a form and a tight form and takes everything and makes it new and, and, and lively and the c contrast of the holy sonnet title versus what's described within. And yet, I'm the person who doesn't have the book published, any books published. I'm the person that is working a real job, not getting grants. And why is that? Is that because Tahimbe Jess is a, a black poet to a degree? Is he a bad poet? Yes, but it's mostly because he's a part of the MFA power structure, and this structure has for the last 70 years damned the arts of this country uh, by trying to rip off people you know, in these MFA classes where you have people who can't write themselves trying to teach people who have no talent how to write. So anyway, this is just an interesting corollary of uh, this question plus an email thread that was going on at the time plus the fact that this Pulitzer was won by another, you know, hack. So thanks for the question, and hopefully that answered it. Uh, that's why I'm not big on any kind of prizes in the arts, whether it's the Oscars, the Emmys, Grammys, uh, any awards.